first alert weather. Beautiful sunset right now from the Idaho Falls first alert cam. We've been seeing a nice little clearing this afternoon. Bit of some snow yesterday, some snow this morning, not much. In fact, we got about an inch, inch and a half mixed in with some rain yesterday and uh, less than a half an inch of snow this morning. But currently 32 degrees winds out of the southwest at 14 miles per hour. Pocatello Farm Bureau sky cam. We got partly cloudy conditions. We're at 35 and the winds at 11. That takes your wind chill down to 27, the Gate City. And then as we roll into Jackson, we've had some clearing today, some sunshine. Now in town it's been clearing, but you go to the mountains like up Teton Pass and then also over to the ski areas around Jackson Hole and then also Grand Targhee on the other side of the mountains and they've been stuck with clouds and snow still. 31 degrees right now though at the Jackson Airport. Wind chills down to 26 and some cloudy conditions right now over at the Salmon Airport with 40 degrees and winds at 11. Now we see some of that snow being picked up here momentarily on Viper radar in eastern Bonneville County. Teton County, Idaho and Wyoming, mainly I guess into well again into those highest elevations. And then we're sitting here with a clearing sky in Idaho Falls and the surrounding Snake River Plain, but we got another system that's going to be rolling in courtesy of the jet stream. This system already putting down some clouds and snow and rain showers across Washington and Oregon tonight and tomorrow. By tomorrow night, though, we pick up on a chance for some of this wet weather, mainly into the mountains. So the system's going to dip out of the northwest here, especially coming along the continental divide. It's also going to pull in some colder air as we get into Wednesday and Thursday. But then we're expected to warm things back up as we head into this weekend. And there's a minor threat for some mountain snow this Saturday and Sunday tonight on the Viper cast as the winds die down we get clouds and we get some fog development we have a chance for some freezing fog tonight and tomorrow morning and we expect to see some light flurry action from that fog but nothing crazy tomorrow around dinner time snow working back into Island Park it's possible snow into central Idaho, but that's mainly into the mountains, especially closer towards Stanley on the uh, western part of the central mountains of Idaho, and then also getting to north Idaho. And then we have the front that's going to blow in quickly for Wednesday. By Wednesday morning and midday, the cold front's going to drive in gusty winds, and we get some snow. We're still not looking at a lot of snow from the Wednesday system, unless you're into southeastern Idaho, into the mountains, or into western Wyoming. And the winds will be a big nuisance here over the next couple of days. Uh, for tonight, we have breezy conditions, but overnight, the winds are dying down and the wind's not bad here for Tuesday. Average wind speed about 5 to 10, gusts around 15 tomorrow afternoon. But the wind's steadily increasing for Wednesday morning as the system rolls on in from the northwest. So we got a chance of fog tonight. Uh, tomorrow, we got mostly cloudy conditions once we break free of the fog with winds about 10 to 15. And windier conditions expected for Wednesday with the chance of snowy weather. Temperatures tomorrow, 25 for Montpelier, 28 in Preston, and we got 29 in Lava with highs in St. Anthony at 28. 25 for Dubois, 29 in Rexburg, and 28 for Jackson with Jackson's eight day showing us temperatures dropping for Thursday, but picking right back up into those mid to lower 30s for Friday and Saturday with a minor threat of snow weather. Rexburg, 29 degrees for Wednesday. We could drop it down to 23 for Thursday. And then we're right back into the upper 20s, low 30s for Friday and Saturday to get us started for the weekend. And not a lot of crazy weather this weekend, just a few isolated mountain snow, snow, uh, snow showers here. As we go to central Idaho, we'll see highs here at 24 for Arco, 37 in Salmon, 35 in Stanley. Lows back to the teens tonight in Salmon with a high of 37 for tomorrow. And we got some windy weather also getting across portions of Lemhi County and a high of 30 for Wednesday, shot of snowy weather. Dry weather for Friday and Saturday with some clouds and temps back to the mid 30s. Idaho Falls a high of 30, 29 for Rigby tomorrow with 33 for Blackfoot, 36 in Pocatello. Lows back to the teens and 20s tonight. And we got the winds cranking up here for midweek Wednesday in Blackfoot, high of 31 and down to 26 for Thursday. But temperatures pick right back up to those low 30s by this Saturday. Pocatello 34 for Wednesday. Again, some snow in the forecast here, but most of the snow is going to be pretty heavy southeast of Pocatello as you're getting down into the mountains of southeastern Idaho and we'll increase the elevation. You also increase the amount of snowfall. 31 for Thursday, 35 for Friday. Idaho Falls, we got 30 for Wednesday, 24 for Thursday. Uh, excuse me, 30 for Wednesday, 24 for Thursday. Had that backwards a little bit. And then we're dropping down into the single digit lows. It gets pretty chilly at night. But daytime highs nicely getting up to 30 degrees by this Saturday. That's actually normal for this time of the year. So I would say a normal February weekend in store. Got a few clouds, a couple isolated mountain snow showers, but no major storms on the horizon. We get that brief shot of snow on Wednesday, and then we're just kind of chugging along here. 
as we get into pretty average February weather. Yeah, there's not a lot of fluctuation. No, pretty much. consistent temperatures. There's a little drop on Thursday as the Wednesday storm clears out, but even then, it's not a big Arctic blast of air. Got this uh, has now popped onto the calendar, so don't forget that day. <laughs> yeah, or you might be uh, sleeping in the frozen doghouse. It might be really cold for you. Yeah. yeah. Okay, <laughs> thanks, Michael. Coming up, several local teams can clinch state tournament berths tonight. Sports director.